I'm Steve Ray. This is Exit 425. It's where we live. I'm your host and content creator for Exit 425, the podcast, and I'm excited to tell you a little bit about Season 2. Season 2 starts with Episode 61. That will take off next week with a a terrific interview with uh, a man named Mark Carlos. I'll tell you a little bit more about him very shortly. Season 2 for Exit 425 is meant to have an episode per week cadence and and reach out to local politicians and organizations and people in the community that make our lives what it is and hopefully that means better. We're in the middle of terms in terms of your federal, provincial and municipal governments. Federal government we're two years in, provincial one year in and municipal a little less than the provincial at about a year in and all of them have stories to tell and if you think that maybe you don't like one of those governments right now then that's all the more reason for you to get engaged and get involved because if you don't like them time is now to start working to change that for next time if you do like them it's time to start working to make sure that they do get re-elected next time it's important midterm polls don't count for much a great man like ed broadbent would have benefited very well if midterm polls had counted We need to be in touch with our local politicians and speak with them. We've had a great conversation with David Caccini, who's MPP uh, in the east part of Clarington, but we've never had any success speaking with the elected representatives, uh, provincial or federal, for uh, Exit 425. Aaron O'Toole has stepped down. Todd McCarthy, uh, I've not had any luck even getting an unrecorded meeting with him. Uh, He had suggested a time his office said that wasn't going to work and I haven't heard back from them in a couple of months at this point. Uh, this was the first successful contact I've had with him since I spoke with his office uh, during the election, at which time I was told we wouldn't have an interview during the election, but would be uh, happy to have quarterly interviews since or after the election, but that hasn't happened. So big question is, is he here for the party or is he, he here for exit 425 and the people in Clarington. Local politicians Sammy El Haje and Granville Anderson have already committed and are anxious to, to come on and speak with me and speak with you. And uh, I'm confident that Adrian Foster and John Henry will be equally enthusiastic about speaking to exit 425. We have great people and great organizations in Clarington and uh, I'm looking forward to speaking with as many of them as possible and uh, we're going to start this week with an interview with Mark Carlos of Redemption uh, House and uh, he works with some of the most vulnerable people in Durham. Dan McTague, Canadians for Affordable Energy is coming up as well very soon. Who do you know that's exciting, that makes our community a better place? Uh, Contact me please at exit425401 at gmail.com and let me know and uh, if you have contact information then share that with me and I would be more than happy to reach out and set something up with them and uh, and find out just um, who they are and what they do to make our community a better place. Listen, watch, uh, even old episodes and, and old content from Exit 425 on Spotify, YouTube, um, Google Podcast, uh, anywhere where you listen to podcasts, as well as old YouTube stuff, uh, it's there and check it out. New content will be available on all the regular podcast platforms, but also I will be uh, recording the interviews so that they can be seen on YouTube. Always, we've got Facebook. Please like the page and join the group so that we can start a discussion there. Thank you very much for listening to this. I look forward to. Uh, working with you and communicating with you throughout the season to make Exit 425 uh, all about our community. Thank you very much. Exit 425, it's where we live.